got duped. You know, they let their pride and their arrogance get them in trouble, and then they had to try to backpedal themselves out of it, and it was too late. Too late. Well, I got that. I can clearly remember. <laughs> Jerry Falwell listened to him one time, trying to, you know, well, you know, I, he was quoting scripture, you know, saying, those of you that have a lesser version, because a bunch of people there at Liberty were using the New King James. You know, well, sorry, Jerry, too late. You know, you already did the damn. You're already going to answer for it. Now, did he get right with God about it? Did he confess his fault with it? I don't know. I don't ever remember him doing anything publicly about it. You know, his son, as far as I'm concerned, was a total abomination. You know. Uh, But that's why the study is because I wanted you to see the real deep truth and fact of what this is all about. And it was the purpose is a preparation, getting the, for a better term, religious world ready and willing to accept. Satan's Bible, which, as far as I'm concerned, with, with maybe, like I say, maybe just a couple of alterations, it, it's there. It exists. It's out there. It's already there. It's already available. I mean, we talked about, you know, the World Congress of Religions uh, and all these other things and things that, that, that go on. Uh, the world is ready. The world is looking for the Christ to come back. But not the Christ of the Bible, not Jesus Christ. That's not the one they want. Well, the one they want is alive out there today and he's just waiting for the signal from his father to gather his bride. And it's going to be hell on earth for seven years. Right, we're going to stop there with this for this morning. Are there any questions? Comments? Comments? Yep. Yeah. Isaiah 8.20. Yeah. The law and the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, is because there is no light in them. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, Isaiah 8.20. That's the truth. There is no light in I mean, remember the, the, the quotes that we heard from Westcott, Ford. Lightfoot, and a lot of those that they were associated with on the uh, 1871 revision committee. No light in them. No light in them. I mean, neither one of them were saved. In fact, none of them were. As far as I know, none of them were saved. I don't believe. You know, uh, it was it Westcott? I can't. You know, I, I don't see any any. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly how he stated it. Any practical reality for believing in any of the miracles in the Bible. West used to say, wasn't it Mother Teresa, mm -hmm. before she died, said, I feel I'm in darkness. Yeah, yeah, Mother Teresa, yeah, the, one of the world's darlings. Yeah. You know, I've been in darkness all my life. Now, of course, she was in darkness all her life, because she was believing in, you know, that salvation was in the Roman Catholic Church. Darkness all my life. Oh, but you know, you what you say a word against Mother Teresa out there in the world, boy, and they're, they're ready to string you up. They think she's wonderful. Okay? Well, they, they ought to do a little more research into her, you know, because again, she's an old, old school Catholic. You know, she believed that Protestants should be killed. You know, I was raised. You know, again, as a Roman Catholic, and was taught that, you know, like I say, before Vatican II, and the great huggy huggy, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the Protestants are your enemy. Don't make friends with them. You know. Of course, again, we're not Protestants. We might protest, <laughs> but we are not Protestants. Okay, uh, we didn't. You know, the Baptists did not come out of the Reformation. We trace our history all the way back to Antioch and Syria. Praise God. Any other? 
questions, comments? Need anything repeated for you this morning? Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for your words. Thank you, Lord, for your truth. Bless us, Lord, we pray in Christ's name. Amen.